It's a rainy sad day. And a good way to spend your time on a rainy sad day is to build a diorama. And I'm a lucky dude because Shoko have sent me four dioramas. One born find, one workshop. I think this one is very cool looking. Drag strip and the Monte Carlo. And we're going to start with the barn find. Now, you know, I'm always saying, hey, this is ready out of the box. Well, this is not ready out of the box. This is a model kit and I'm going to do the best I can to make this diorama good looking. So don't shoot me if I'm doing something wrong because I have never done this before. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here we got the box of the barn find, uh, 164 skill. Okay, let's open it up and uh, see what's inside. Okay, we get this right here. That is pretty cool. And uh, the website of chocolatespeedtoys.com. You can see they're also active on Instagram. Um, instruction manual can be very handy. Um, I think I also need some tools. Yeah. Okay, and here we got uh, the pieces like this of the diorama. Laser cut. All right, let's do this. Okay, it is very easy to take it apart. Do it with your hands. I like that. Okay, I'm going to take all the parts out of this and then I will be back. Okay, I've got all the parts right here. So now uh, we have to check the instruction manual. Oh, I hear a big helicopter. But unfortunately, It's behind the clouds. Ah, oh, that's what you get with depressing weather. Okay, we're going to start with number one. We need uh, the base plate and this part over here. And you put that right here in these holes. Perfect, then number two. That is this part right here. Should, oh. Well, right in here yes then we need number three that is this one right here um, it is like this like this yeah okay And then we go to number four. That is uh, this one right here. And 
we have to place it. Do I do this right? Yes. Okay. And then uh, we go to number five. That is the other one here. Number five. So that is this one right here. Voila. Then we go to number six. That's the one with the door. Do it like this. Yeah. Okay, then we go to seven uh, A. So we first have to pick this one right here. Yep, this one. And then we have the cheap piece. Okay, it goes in there. And then we have this part. That goes in right here. Okay, looks good. And then we go to 7B to place it right there. Voila. And then we go to the roof. Number eight, that is the big one with the open port. So you got two holes and here you got two pins. So that's better. And then you do it like this. Oh, be careful. Otherwise, you can break something. Easy. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Perfect fit, and then uh, the other one, yep, same story here, two holes, two pins, and And it fits very well. Very cool looking uh, diorama. But uh, I'm not finished. I'm going to... Uh, I don't think I'm going to use paint for this right here. Because this is looking pretty good. But uh, yeah, I want to add some grass and some sand over here. But uh, I think this looks pretty cool already. Really cool. Okay. So uh, let's search for some grass and some sand and maybe some stones. Okay, so far so good. I add some grass to the diorama and some rocks. You can buy this uh, in store. It's actually for train modeling, train dioramas, but uh, also perfect for other skills. Here is the other one. Um, I also have this in a very big piece so you can uh, cut something off and I used it for here. Only downside is it's a little bit thick. So uh, I'm not sure how it's going to look when I uh, put gravel in here. But uh, I need to go back to the hobby store to find the right stuff. So uh, let's go to the hobby store. 
Okay, so here we are in front of the hobby store Neverland. Did a video in the store. Uh, definitely have to watch it because it's a great store. And the reason I'm here is because of this diorama. So I'm going to find some uh, good stuff to finish this diorama. See you inside. So I'm here in the Netherlands, but I don't see anything that uh, matches with the ID in my head. This is a little bit too light. That's also a strange color. No, too fine. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I need some glue, go outside, look for the right uh, sand and place it on the diorama. That's what I'm going to do back home. So it's been two weeks since I've worked on this diorama, but uh, now I've got some wood glue. And this is the first time ever I'm doing this. So uh, maybe it's going to be a total disaster. If so, you're going to be a witness of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some wood glue right here for some testing. By the way, I thought about painting this and this, but nah, don't have to paint and uh, yeah, I don't work that much with paint. So then I'm going to buy paint for one time and no, I think that that's a waste of money. So I'm going to do it with this right here and uh, let's see if that is working. Oh, maybe it's better. Yeah, that is better. My wife would be happy if I lie something underneath it back in a sack. So I think it's best to do it like... By the way, this is a very good toy store in the Lange Kerkstraat 2 in Goes Fischer's Toys. Did a video in that store. Definitely worth watching the video and visiting the store. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is working. And there are probably thousand more people that can do this much better than me. But yeah. This is a I can use some more. They've told me that uh, wood glue is uh, the perfect glue because it dries up pretty clean and um, also you can paint over it. So I have no idea if this is too much or not. Also want some over there, yeah. Why not? And now I come to stone. Okay. And now I'm going to take some Gravel, put it right here. The sand is from uh, from my garden, and some ants bring this sand up for me from underneath the stones. And also, something right there. See? Um. Okay. 
looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, well, let's do the rest. Yes. Well, I will be busy with this for a while. So um I will show you the results at the end of this video don't think it's interesting for you seeing me doing this nobody wants that right Yep, see you at uh, the end of the video. Okay, so this is the result. Now I have to wait till it's dry. I see I missed some spots. I have to do that later. Um, yeah, I have to say maybe it was better uh, to put some paint on the floor, but uh, yeah, this is what it is. And it's still better than nothing. So what am I going to do? Uh, wait till it's dry, put some accessories in it, put a very good custom in it from um, Diecast Media Network, Chuck. And then show you the results. I'll be back. Okay, so the diorama is uh, finished and uh, I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. For a nope like me. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, put some accessories in it, as you can see, some uh, rims, Pennzoil rack. We got a motorbike from American Diorama. Uh, jerry can, some tires, a figure from American Diorama, and the dog is also from American Diorama. Now, uh, we also have to put a car inside, of course. Uh, by the way, I've got some new figures here. These are from Tarmac in cooperation with American Diorama. Moon Eyes figures. Brie figures. These are from American Diorama. The Car Meet. Racing Legends. Moto Mania 5. This is definitely from Orange Country Choppers. Yeah, looks like it with the mustache. Uh, Gosplay Utaku. Not really my thing, but why not? Then I've got these two right here. Fort Econo line, the turtle wax, which is uh, very nice. And also this one right here. Also got this one right here, Dutch L600 in the colors of the Dutch flag. And I've got this one right here. This is also pretty interesting. Going to do a diorama about it soon. Uh, some new Hot Wheels premiums. So a lot of new stuff to go through. Now, um, I have to put a car inside. I have this beautiful custom made barn find made by Chuck from Diecast Breakdown. Uh, thank you very much for that. This is the perfect model. It is absolutely fantastic and the perfect model for this barn find. Uh, you can put these things right here. Let's see, zoom in right. And the other one right here. 
I hope it's the right distance. And then to put the car in. There you go. Uh, now I almost forgot there that there is a roof on it. There it is. So got to do this right. Can we fix it? There we go. Yep. And then the other side. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Voila. There it is. I think it looks pretty cool. Yep. Doggy. Bring it right here, or else I get scratches on the table because of the sand. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make some photos with it and post it on my Instagram. Um, I will leave a link in the description of where you can buy this diorama and also uh, a link to the Instagram page from the one who creates these dioramas. So please check that out. For now I have to say, share this video with your diecast friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thumbs up, and I will see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.